Welcome, everybody. Thank you so very much for joining us on this beautiful, absolutely wonderful Tuesday afternoon. I don't know where you're at, but I'm in a sunny area that's almost like 25 degrees Celsius and loving it, but it's going to change. Anyway, we have a special guest with us today, and I'll soon introduce him. But thank you very much for joining us at Speak Up and Empower with Real Talk Travel. And Speak Up and Empower is a group of online individuals. It's a huge community with all kinds of ex experts in their field, and they have something important to share. And I'm with Real Talk Travel, and we're going to talk about travel. So where is our adventure waiting for us today? Well, welcome, Tony. <laughs> Tony Peace. <laughs> I wasn't going to mess that up, but anyway, welcome, Tony. <laughs> I should have told you the ringtone. Yeah, and, uh, he is going to tell us about the marvelous adventure. Where are we going today, uh, Tony? Well, you know what? Uh, thank you, Suzanne. Great, uh, great intro. Thank you for uh, having me here. Very excited to talk to you about travel. Uh, personally, I like to go outside because it's 25 degrees and it's beautiful here in, in Toronto. And let me tell you, uh, it's it's over. That's it. It's over. I have to go in shorts. I haven't seen shorts in, in a month. <laughs> so, no, but today we have a, a wonderful, wonderful program. Um, but basically what's, what we're doing today is we're going to be talking about something that I really, really think is going to be the future of travel, which is traveling in a small group and hopefully with people you know. <laughs> right? yeah. so, this is the thing. So, uh, to, you know, I work with uh, with Exodus Travels, as you can tell, with the little banners in the back here uh, <laughs> and so on. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about what it is that we're doing, but I'm going to take you through a little trip uh, through soft adventure this week. Next week, we have a different, different uh, talk altogether. I might have a headband because we're talking about walking and cycling. Who knows, Suzanne? But for now, you know, I will tell you this, that um, I'll, I'll give everybody, I won't bore you to death with like, oh, Exodus stuff, but I will tell you this. Uh, we've been around for 46 years. 46 years. Wow. And and this what is right here this is a very like this is a bbc documentary which the filming from the same first trip from london all the way to afghanistan okay 1974 right that was those were the good old days <laughs> and, it, and that from that same truck went all the way to the himalayas this very first trip so the same pioneers when it comes to adventure travel that's what we're doing but the the, the great wonderful thing is that adventure is still there of course you saw the you saw it like was that truck stuck yes that was then. Remember, you might send a postcard like, hey, I might be home in three weeks or three months. We don't know what's going to happen, right? That was then. Now, of <laughs> it's a little bit more. But when it comes to adventure travel, I'm going to explain to you today what adventure means because I know there's people out there that are thinking, wait, am I kayaking between hotels? Am I bungee jumping to dinner? Like, how, how wild are you? I'm like, no, I, I got enough gray hairs. I don't want any more, right? So that's, that's, <laughs> I'll tell you a bit more about our wonderful stuff, but uh, something that I'm very, very passionate about, Susan, is this, is that um, everything we think about, destinations and trips and what else are we going to be doing, has to come with a responsible travel you know, mandate. And this mm -hmm. is so powerful for us, right? So we want to make sure, yes, could we just go to a place, show it off to people, make the money, put it in the bank, like, did you have a good trip? Fill out an evaluation form, go home. We don't want that. We want to make sure that the community benefits. We want to make sure that we... Uh, we can help out not only local businesses, but also wonderful uh, projects all around the world. So we started, we launched our own foundation last year, uh, about two years ago, which is so beautiful. So in this foundation, through donations and so on, there's going to be a lot of projects where your clients will be seen face to face. Oh, wow. What a great project that Exodus is involved in. Other projects that may they may not see. So, for example, uh, on the top left hand corner, you see there's this baker. Um, he owns a bakery, Karma. What a great name, right? Karma. Yes. Mm -hmm. in, in Nepal. So, we're going to help him put together 1,000 packaged meals to distribute to the people because of COVID. They, no jobs really. I can't, I, I'm going to, you know, so let's help them out. But of course, we do things to help out the, your clients too, because let's be honest, there's people out there that are bringing plastic bags and plastic days and everything's plastic, 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 right? So we say, hey, be a good traveler, right? So let me let me show you some tips. So projects where you get to see face to face, but the bottom line is this, that we make sure that every community we visit benefits from our visit. So mm -hmm. a bit more about this as we go along, right? But in terms of the small group, let's get to the fun stuff. So people are thinking, like, how small are these groups? Like two people? I'm like, I, I wish it was only two people, but you probably get bored of the same person for two weeks, eh? Like, yeah. I've been for 30 years. I want to talk to somebody else. Uh -huh. right? 
So our small groups, the way we're, we're doing it is a maximum of 16 people, which is nice. So still a small group, an average 12. So, and then the average age of the people that we're getting is about 53. So think about it, right? We're Canadians. What are we doing? We're bringing our kids to uh, all inclusives and so on. And once they're, are you, are you out of high school yet? Okay, good. Now, can I do some stuff that I want to do? That's the way it is, right? So this kind of adventure is very appealing to people. And it's going to be more appealing starting next year as soon as people are realizing. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. again, so here's the wonderful thing. So we know who's coming on our trips. We want to know as well as who's leading these people, who's taking. So here's a video of some of the local leaders we use. So we use 95% local leaders, responsible travel, help local businesses, so on. Plus they know the area, right? We saw the guy exactly. with mm -hmm. this. So he planned out all the maps that we use over in Sierra de la Itana. That's him right there. Thanos, 20 years he's been working with us. We have one amaz amazing uh, leader. Uh, her name is Valerie. She has been with us for 35 years. So you know there's going to be marine biologists. You know there's going to be ornithologists and people that are just superb in their field all the time, right? So you know who's going on the trips. You know who's leading you. Here's the big one. Where am I spending the nights? Right? So that, I, do you want to know where I spend the nights? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the wonderful thing, right? We're talking about our, uh, our responsible travel. We like to support local businesses, so we only stay in locally owned accommodation. Think about that. So three star, four star, or five star. What do you want? Did you get a lot of? Um, did you have a good year financially? Good. We got five star product for you. Are you okay all about adventure and you just want a decent place for the night? You can. We have those here for you. So the wonderful thing is we have everything from converted farmhouses. Now we got you now. Eh? Converted farmhouses to mountain lodges. Look at that chalet all over looking at Mont Blanc. Beautiful. Oh, mm. next week that's a hot tub too right so an ice hotel to like like i said to you convert a farmhouse to mountain geese to everything in between it's all about the experience and that's the word i want to use today adventure travel is about the experience what do you want to experience and today we're going to be talking about soft adventure right so most of the trips that we have are all ranked from a level one for example i can still bring my parents i might be on their christmas list this year who knows right so have <laughs> Yes, right. <laughs> all of a sudden, we're like, hey, I, I got a, I don't know who signed me up for this trip, but I got a level nine. You better say a year ago because we have everything between. Soft adventure doesn't go past a level two. It's, it's relaxed, relaxed. We're not going crazy. Next week, let's have a different conversation, okay, when it comes to <laughs> active travel. <laughs> Everything's graded from a level one all the way to a nine plus, because otherwise... <laughs> <laughs> so, soft adventure for us uh, i'm going to talk about five different styles that we have and one of them is being a cultural trip so cultural trips what that basically means is that you'll go to a place like this is one of our best-selling cultural trips egypt so it's a premium nile cruise so there's six uh there's 20 people maximum on this tour it's one of the very few ones that have 20 the rest are usually 16 right so we have 20 people on land we spend uh four nights in four and five star hotels and the other four nights we go on a cruise down the Nile, cool. that's the mm. cruise, it's so nice. But here's the great thing about this trip. Um, let's hang out today because we should go see the Valley of the Kings, King Tut. Hey, do you wanna go see one of the ancient wonders of the world? Yeah, and then tomorrow evening, you can have a free time. So we have that little balance. Let's hang out together. Can I have some alone time? Let's hang out together, right? Soon? And that's the beautiful thing. So here's just, a, um, just playing you a little bit of a video of like what our Egypt trip will look mm -hmm. like for us again. This is what I truly, truly love is that when it comes to cultural trips, what we are not, what we are not is let's get up at seven, let's eat breakfast at eight, let's breathe at nine, let's go to the museum at 10, let's do markets at 11, let's breathe again at 12, let's eat lunch. Let's... Wow, I got a whole spreadsheet for the whole day. I'm like, no, 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 no. Today, we have a big uh, included excursion. We're going to pyramids, right? But tomorrow you'll have a free day. Tomorrow evening, if you want to come on the optional group dinner, you can. You don't have to. So that's what I wanted to say to you, right? So some of the beautiful sites that you'll see along the way, absolutely beautiful. So again, cultural trips, we have easy about 200 of them. I'm not going to talk about 200, Susan, because you already told me. So we're just going to talk about a few right here and there. So Jordan, Israel. So not only one country, but we can do multi-country. And of course, going to places like Greece. Everybody wants to go to Greece. And most people do it on a Mediterranean cruise, right? Nothing yeah. wrong with that. But how about being in a private vehicle with a group, uh, with a leader like Thanos, taking you around his country for eight nights together. And we go and see Olympus, Mount Sepias, and see all these wonderful things. The same thing goes with Sicily, for example. So these are cultural trips. Let's see the highlights. Let's see the highlights and have a little bit of time. 
But I know something that we talked about is like, can we talk about some food trips? Like, this is what you wanted to talk to me about, right? So yeah. not only cultural trips, let's take pictures, but we also have some trips that are themed food and drink. Next week, you be, you're going to hear about the walking and wine. That is right, walking and wine. Today is sitting down and wine, okay? So the Sicily food tour, for example, here you are, you're doing cooking classes, you're learning all about the reach, like regional local cuisine that is Sicily's, right? So this is a very food-centric trip. So I just wanted to show you people, like, so we have different styles. Uh, can, can we go to Sicily? Yes. What can we do there? Cultural trip? Check. What about food trip? Check. What about cycling? Check. So that's the way we like to do things, right? So we really expand, explore so much the region, the area, which I really love, right? And of course, going to a place like this in Sicily, which is a feature foodie experience, is you go in and have a, a wonderful cooking class here with a local chef in this beautiful place in Trapani, for example. So really different as opposed to doing something that you find online at a guidebook or booking and there's 40 of you like oh i thought there was only 10 of us you know what i mean different mm -hmm. experience that's why when you go on a small group tour it's just us it's not us and other people from other companies you know what i'm saying so that's the cultural stuff and other things that we have are here's what i really love i'm i don't know about you i want to see some hands up over there but if you like wildlife trips this is us but before you put your hands up i want to tell you one word responsible are you the kind of person that wants to ride an elephant you're not coming on our tour but i want to ride a, i want to ride I, I want that picture with the tiger so i can get my instagram likes because i'm like no you're right we're not doing that we want to make sure that it's responsible right so uh, and again part of responsible power like look at this you donate to a lot of these great wonderful um causes and organizations to maintain and and uh, all these different features for the tiger where there's uh, no leopard you name it we want to make sure and feed us we want to make sure that they are going to be protected and even you see in the top right there is, it looks like a tiger standing up right that is one of our um in-house photographers Paul Goldstein, who has done marathons wearing a 15 kilo tiger suit to raise awareness but just to let you know right that's not him but just to let you know but look how cute they are right i <laughs> saw so, Wildlife trips is a couple animal ones I wanted to show you, right? So if you want to go to Africa, you got some trips where you can do a little bit of camping, a little bit of hotels and lodges, and then you know the other term, right? Glamping or glamorous camping. I only found that out about three years ago. Oh, that's what it stands for. I didn't realize that, right? That's so, so awesome. Chris, yeah, mm -hmm. this is like this, right? You'll go, you'll, you'll go to the desert, you'll see those open the big five, and you're traveling in truly authentic uh african um transportation so four by four wheel drives right? and this group is only 12. that's what i'm saying small group but again enough me talking can we look at some pictures what will i see on this trip zebras of course <laughs> each one has their own individual pattern like our, our fingerprints the rhino i've been to africa i've been to some, not the namibian but one i'm not gonna kid you but eastern africa and this is the only one of the big five i didn't get a chance to see but everybody else did I was pretty much about that. I'm not going to kid you. So, look at this. And look at the accommodation. Wow. You get up early in the morning. Hey, for people like to sleep in at night. Ah, no. We're in Africa. You're getting up early. Let's go. You get up at four in the morning, five in the morning, because it's not it's not our time. It's their time. <laughs> right? We're visiting them. The animals like to get up early. We go see them. Like, oh, man, I'm tired at four. Let's go. Back, back to the place, lodge, where it's the heat, enjoy, beautiful pool. That's the way we are, right? So uh, now to cool things off, the other <laughs> hand, I mean, the more you want. We have trips, you want to see lemurs, I want to see Komodo dragons, I want to go and see snow leopards. That is an actual trip that we have. There's oh. so many things, penguins and so on. So going to Antarctica, oh, just an example. Look at the wonderful guys we get to see uh, along the way. Right? <laughs> That's just reminded of that Morgan Freeman movie. He's just narrating like, oh, the cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> so great. These, these are the kind of experiences that people, knowing how selective travel is going to be from now on, are the ones that are going to be investing more time into experiences. And that's something that I really, really want to push uh, today. So that's what we're all about, experiences all together, right? So we have trips in Antarctica, the Arctic, a little bit closer to home, Buda Vida style for everybody who's been to Costa Rica. This is the place right here, you know, depending on what you want, you have trips to see arrow different turtles down to monteverde or the cloud forest to see all the elusive birds that we have there it really depends on what you want right and you cannot go wrong and again we partner with an, a local um rainforest lodge in esquinas who has helped maintain over fourteen thousand hectares of land 
So again, we, we've been going there for 20 years. We want to make sure that who we work with really are passionate about what they do and not just, oh, here comes another Exodus group, bring it in, right? That's not us. That's not what we want. We can see through you. We can see through you, right? Susan, so are you having fun so far, Susan, or what? I am, yes. What's <laughs> the I might get a little bit emotional, so I do have a towel here, okay? I'm not gonna oh, kid you. Oh, that's okay. So, Bring it on. <laughs> one of the most, and probably the most elusive thing I've ever done in my life when it comes to wallet. I've seen the big five. I, 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 I had a dog at one point. I mean, like, there's so wonderful things, but this is it. Going to the Maasai Mara, Eastern Africa, doing Uganda, Kenya, and Rwanda on one of these trips, and we have two different styles. So like camping, this is like, again, people are like, wait, am I cooking? Am I bringing my own tents? Like, no, full service, we'll cook yeah. for you. We'll put up the tents. It's like, what are you, what, what's your job? Can you roll in and out and just close the tent? That's it. That's all you gotta do. We'll cook for you. Sign yeah, me up, on. sign me up. <laughs> Here's another thing as well, ready? Yeah, but I heard you're a vegetarian. I'm a vegan, I'm allergic to tomatoes. That's fine. We cater to all different types of, uh, hey, I'm a vegetarian inspiring vegan. On most days, right? COVID gave me a little bit of a, hey, uh, that's all you can eat. Yes. I'm like, okay, fine, I'll have it, right? But they catered to me, and that's fine. I even went to France, and I said no to the cheese. And that was, oh, that was tough. But we cater for you. So in Africa, the same thing as well. So look at this. From uh, going all the way from uh, Kenya all the way into Rwanda, let's do a little bit of less talking of me. Let's show some wonderful pictures, right? So you have the camping and the hotel and lodges options. So depending on what your clients want, what people want, it's that we have so many options for you. And look at these wonderful properties that we use. Again, locally owned, locally owned. And we're not staying, we're not supporting foreign chains. Nothing wrong with that. They've had a good time. When's the best time to go? People always ask. Since we've been doing this for a while, we always tell you, hey, if you want to go hiking, you got to go in the summer. <laughs> You're not going to go in the winter, right? And here, of course, the Mazai Mara, August to October. If you go to the Serengeti, wait a minute, is this is the same thing? Whoa, whoa, different things. We tell you, go to January and February. So you can always come to us because we designed the trips. <laughs> so we should know when to go, right? So, Absolutely, yes. <laughs> so this, this is what I want to show you. This is videos of what I, I took of my Mazai Mara game drives. Wow. Two days out there. And I'm telling you, I was losing it. I was like, what is going on here? The water buffaloes, the tigers, the hunt, the zebras, the impalas, the wildebeest, 200,000 of them walking around, running. It's like, they're the ones leading the migration. It was incredible. That experience for me, the Mazai Mara was one. And I also did the, the, the Serengeti in the following year, which was absolutely spectacular but so i thought i saw the highlight susan i thought i'm like okay can anything beat this the answer is yes and i want to show you what one of the most magical impressive days is to go see the gorillas yes mm -hmm. go and you're going to trek for the gorillas you're going to go and find them they're not they're not waiting for you in the corner like hey you're late no if there's eight seven or eight different families that get a chance to see our muzungos that's uh our, the local language for tourists Right. So oh, look. Yes. Here Let me show you what's going on. Yes. About not even three meters away from this guy here, and the smell. Don't get me wrong, right? But this big fella here, four hundred kilos, vegetarians as well. Where did you get your protein? Like, ask them. I'm, I'm yeah. <laughs> right. But I say this. This one stopped right here. I, we're not. I'm not that far away. Look, I'm not that far away from them. Just looking at them, and this the the local guy comes to me. He's like, "You." He's like talking to me. He's like. You need to move out of the way because it's going to come through and you don't want 400 people punching you in the kneecap. Wow. <laughs> I don't want that, right? So this, you spend one hour. The fun thing is how long am I trekking for? Because here's the, here's the way it is, right, Susan? Imagine this experience, ready? You and I are in the same group, but we just got split up for the day. You're going to go see a family A. I'm going to go see family B. There could be a chance that your trek could be an hour and a half long. You're easy. It's like, wow, she's having Prosecco and a cigar. She had a really good time. <laughs> I don't get what you did. That was me. Uh, minus the Prosecco and cigar, of course. But <laughs> they weren't happy because uh, you guys did an hour and a half. We did two and a half hours straight up because you're tracking the family. You're going after them. And some of them had espressos in the morning or something because they're, they're gone. They're doing their thing. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> You your one hour with them. So we give you a permit, not only to see the chimpanzees, but also to go see gorillas. And that's what I'm saying. It's about experiences. What are you in the mood for? Be 
because let's be honest, one day we're all, well, I wish, you know, those famous words, hey, I wish I would have done it. Wish. Yes. <laughs> Stop calling 1-800-REGRETS. Stop it. Stop it. Just do, do it now. It. Book it today. Do it, <laughs> do it now. And this is, I'm telling you right now, it was the most wonderful oh. thing. Ah, I still have to say hair. I, I know. I was, it's still to me the greatest day of my life, that one hour. And of course, twins. Yeah, that's Arnold. I'm the beat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <You're twin. laughs> right, but it was wonderful. It was so moving to be able to see these guys, right? So, and of course, sticking to wildlife, I'm telling you, this is my next place. I cannot wait to do this. The Galapagos, we have so many trips, so many different vessels and what you want, whether you want to go in 14 people, you want to go with 32, you want to go 16. How much do you want to spend? Where do you want to go? How many islands? It's 13 of them. So you, uh, it's not... We don't say, well, you know what? I'm going to go to this island and this island and this island. No, no, no. The Ecuadorian government says, you're going to go here, here, here. I don't care what you say. Cool. And that's the only way they can spread the tourism, right? Because otherwise, there's going to be 100 people going to go see Charles Darwin's Institute. We don't want that, right? right? So look at your day life. Not a bad thing, right? You're in a little con. You're in a house over in London or Vancouver, wherever you are. And then you're flying over and look at my heaven for the next week. 10 days. We even have trips that combine Machu Picchu as well. So imagine that. Like, go for the experience. Go for the yeah. experience right now, right? So I'm going to stop talking here and just show you one of the little bit. I'm, I'm ready right now. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your passport. Yeah, it's good yes. for another five years. Great. Yes. So, hey, will you take me, though? Because I speak Spanish. I can maybe help. Oh, you. sure. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm saying. But this is like, this is the experience. So this is what I'm, what we're showing you is like, what it's like to be on the boat. But again, Yes, it's, this is your home for the next week or so. But what really makes this trip, of course, the highlight is what are you doing during the day? Who are you going to go see? So depending on when you go, I want to snorkel. I want to see different types of birds and so on. We will this. We will advise you on which itinerary you want, which is nice, right? So here we go. Look at these wonderful the sea lions to, of course, the turtles. Like, oh, but the birds. It is the bird, right? The, oh, my gosh. So many of these iguanas back and forth, which is absolutely perfect. And there's no predators. Galapagos, right? So these guys don't need to fly. It's like, fly? I don't, what's that? That, that's, that? That's like me telling them, do you have a beeper? What? Yeah. <laughs> we don't eat wings. We sit back and relax, right? So, again, cultural, food and drinks. Then we had wildlife. And those are more popular, soft adventures. And then we have some other styles. Yeah, winter's a bit tough. I'm not gonna kid you. I know there's people out west right now. It's like if you say that W word one more time. Yeah. yeah. Cross country skiing. We have snowshoeing. We have multi activity weeks where you can go with your family. So depending on what you want, I'm just too. Hey, just one trip. I walked away from that conversation pretty easily, right? <laughs> <laughs> we have family trips. So this is a big one too because you want to travel with your bubble, right? That's Absolutely. Right. Mm -hmm. Bubble trouble, bubble trouble. That's the way I see it, right? So bottom line is depending on the kids' ages, if they're, if they're five years old or they're nine or they're teenagers, we have different trips for you. Costa Rica, Sri Lanka, Italy, where the kids make pizzas for me? The kids are cooking? Be sure? Yes, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. So depending on what you want. And going to Sri Lanka, let me tell you this. Oh, what a wonderful place. That, that was one of my last trips that I've done in that island is there's a reason why it was named the number number one best destination on Lonely Planet two years ago to go. Absolutely stunning. Great, great beaches, phenomenal cultural food is ridiculous and inexpensive too. I want you to know awesome. that. Yeah. You, okay. you know, I, I haven't had breakfast curry in ever, I don't think, but it's not a good <laughs> place to go. So again, experiences, right? Susan, what do you want? What do you like? Who do you want to travel with? What do you want to do? Travel should never be. And I hear sometimes from people like, yeah, you know, I like just going to the like, I like going to the same place where they know my names. Like, this isn't the cheers bar. What are you talking about? Where, where are you evolving? Where are you evolution, man? Like traveling is, to, there's 190 plus countries in the world. There's so many destinations, so many options. Like right now is the time for, to be selective. You know, mm -hmm. the last time I had airplane food, Susan, was over a year ago. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> not a bad thing. Not yeah. a bad thing, right? But no. I'm also not just going to go my first place, like somewhere I've been to before. I want to explore some stuff, right? So um, something on land as well, I just want to show you this briefly, is that we have uh, different small ships. So if you want to go to the Maldives, 12 people. Oh, yes. I'm in. Diving is circling. Yeah, I'm in as well. I'm telling you. Yes. To go to Galapagos with 32 or 16, going in other bigger ships. Like here, this one here in Peru. 
imagine 600 miles times what 900 kilometers of exploration down Iquitos and Amazon. They get to give you a nice little cooking class as well during the day. But here it is, a spa and a nice beautiful pool on your ship during the entire nine days. So that's awesome. cool, right? And but let's just be honest as well. Edits, what is this? This is for trips for people between 30 and 49. Who most likely will be the first ones like, you know, I got time off. I'm going for it. I saw my family in Thanksgiving. <laughs> I, I gotta go. <laughs> so we have these trips for these busy professionals. Hey, how much time do you have? We got a week. Let's pack as much in for you and, and during the day. So we're doing things in Vietnam. We're doing things in Indonesia, Costa Rica, Portugal, where we don't do yoga. We don't do stand-up paddle. This is Exodus. What are you talking about? But we will for the edits, for the th people between 30 and 49, the Generation X, right? And I'm telling you, it is wonderful. So this is food-related. Some Again, Portugal, Costa Rica, Italy, Jordan. You get to spend the night at a UFO uh, camp, which is so nice. Like the oh, camp in Jordan. Yeah. Very beautiful, right? So again, it depends what you want. It's all about the experience. That's what it's talking about, right? So I know this year could be a little bit like, uh, could be a write-off. Let me uh, let me go and re re renovate the bathroom or something. I get it. Next year will be a different story, though. You're going to go travel. So we have this wonderful thing. People want to go. It's only $99 for you to put, put down a deposit and, 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 and lock in a spot on when you want to go. And you don't pay the rest until two months before travel. So we're making things very easy and, and easy. Fabulous deal. Fabulous. So, so good. And, and you can pick a date, 2021 or 2022. That's the great, that's the great thing. Like pl planning for 2022, like whew, I'm in, right? So that's yeah. but, but here's the thing, is like, well, I'm not confident in traveling. I'm not confident in booking. I'm not confident right now. And I get that. So that's why we uh on our website, we tell you pretty much straight up how you can feel confident with booking with us. So in case of any again, I'm not gonna go too much detail here, but I will tell you that. Anything happens, COVID related, don't worry. Don't worry. We'll take care of you. We're, we're trying to be as, as flexible as possible. And we are named one of the five operators with very flexible booking policies. But that's the first Hi, Susan. Yeah, I'd like to go on a trip, book this and so on. What's next? How am I going to travel with confidence, though? This is what I'm talking about. Because, again, people say, oh, I don't, my, my, and we were talking about earlier, my neighbor hasn't traveled. And, and my doctor hasn't traveled. Like, I'm waiting for people to travel. So they, they, they come back? Yes. So we make sure that the hotels are clean and we have a wonderful few videos on our YouTube channel of one of our trips that we ran a month ago where people are getting sanitized, they're wearing masks. It's hiking, right? So you're not wearing masks when you're hiking, but like at the hotels and everything is super clean. So we make sure that everything from the destinations are safe, that you have 24 guidance, that the groups are small, again, 12 to 16, and everything's clean in place. So we really want you to feel so comfortable, right? And these are actual reviews of people that travel with us in the month of September and October. Of, the, yeah. of this year, right? Yeah, like a yeah. month ago. Awesome. This is this is yeah. me rubbing it in our faces, okay? Yeah. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> I'm just rubbing in our faces. That's what I'm saying to you, right? So, anyway, so this is what I'm saying to you. Is that it's all about the experience. What are you in the mood for? What are you in the mood for? So that's more like our you know, introduction of small group travel, adventure, but soft adventure, right? And you know what's happening next week, right, Susan? That's going to be next week. We have our, I'm too, I'm really excited for this one. Guided and self-guided. Did you say self-guided? I did. And we're yeah. going to walking and hiking and cycling, which is, that's like, I'm sorry. I, I'm a little bit biased, but I love that stuff a lot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that, hey, that, I'm that. in. I'm in. Totally. <laughs> I got a Fitbit. Might as well use it. <laughs> right? that's, the, that's the way i'm saying right susan so that's pretty much that's that that's me talking let's be honest uh, about just giving people an introduction of what is small group and how you and i both know this this will be the future for next little while absolutely absolutely I, so. i'm not gonna say anything else other styles but i will say that traveling in a smaller group or like hey i that person's in my group i know them because i met them day one versus like you've been on my tour for two weeks i don't i've never seen you you blended in with the seats <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work like that with us. It doesn't work like that with us. So, uh, awesome, awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, for, uh, very, very, very much, Tony Padarmo. <laughs> and <laughs> with Exodus Travel, I probably still said that wrong, but anyway, <laughs> how exciting is that? Who's ready to go? I am. <laughs> like, which, which, yeah, yeah, which trip or which experience are you going to take a hold of? Come on, $99 to book a phenomenal experience that you would 
never have the chance before. I see somebody, Nikki says she's in, so that's good, awesome. But you can book it today, decide the destination, what you'd like to do, how adventurous you'd like to be. Can you imagine going to be with the gorillas and get the picture like Tony did? I'm jealous. I'm totally jealous. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, no, that was really, really awesome to help us really realize travel is going to change. Yes. It will be small groups. We can have travel in confidence. And won't it be nice with the new announcement that it, even in Ontario, uh, Doug Ford is talking about the quarantine being done uh, done away with. The testing will be implemented, and that's going to open up so much. I I don't know about you guys out there, but I'm chomping up the bit. I want to travel and I want to get out there and have those experiences. And Absolutely. who wouldn't want to? So let's get you book for your 2021 experience for your 2022, and do not miss next week i mean you gotta come and join us again and tony is going to take us on another adventure that will next be week. phenomenal <laughs> so. next, next week is going to be really really special and just one last thing as well is that we also do groups as well which is going to be the next thing like travel with people that maybe you went to high school with who knows right <laughs> so yes yes group if you're part of a bike club or a hiking club or a book club or any club a sorry own club it doesn't matter Call Susan, look at the trips that we have, and it could be your own private group. Make your yeah. life easier. That, that is phenomenal. Or diving or whatever. I mean, there's so many. You showed so many places. I'm like, oh, my. I, I don't know, I know how I'm going to fit it in for 2021. <laughs> like, to get to all these places. But, uh, Just have a dart and throw it against the wall. See what, see what it lands. That's what yeah, I Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. But I really, really thank you uh, so much, Tony, for joining us today and enlightening us about so many wonderful experiences that we can dive into and really take in and absorb and become a really become empowered when we travel we're empowered and it changes our lives and the fact that exodus gives back that is so phenomenal that i've seen the different reports of helping in an area that nobody a baker they didn't have any the people didn't have any food he he put a thousand i think more yeah. food items out to help the people and bake uh, bread and all kinds of goodies. And uh, that's phenomenal that Exodus does that. And all of us can play a little part in giving back. But uh, thank you very much. So um, we'll look forward to next week for sure. And so everybody yeah. to <laughs> come back, right, Tony? <laughs> thank you so much. Susan. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I had a really wonderful time. And next week, hiking, cycling. Oh, phenomenal. If you want to put the computer in front of your your stationary biking and then pretend you're biking as he's talking. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. don't give me ideas, Susan. I might do that as well. Why is he slowing down? Okay, yeah. I gotta heal. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay. Everybody, thank you very much for joining. Have a phenomenal week. Stay safe. We can be safe to travel. We can tell you all the protocols. There's so much they're putting into place. You will you can travel with confidence and we're going to make sure that you are given all the information so you can be confident and come back and say, wow, I had a good time. So thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. Bye, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>